Let's talk about California poppy seed for great sleep and getting rid of pain and no side effects. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, let's talk about California poppy seed, which is great for sleep and getting rid of pain and there's really no side effects and it's really great stuff. Also called Escherichia uh, California, and <laughs> also helps with mood, anxiety, and depression, and insomnia, and on and on and on, and a lot of great things. Uh, used by Native Americans for thousands and thousands of years. It's not an opium. It's not the same as opium poppies, that's for sure. And it also not a narcotic and not addictive in any way, shape, or form. So, really great stuff. It grows in the United States, especially on the western coast, up through Washington, down into Mexico. Also, uh, some in South America. Also very prevalent in Europe, Asia, Australia, Chile, uh, all over the place. Some warmer places of Canada also. Uh, just a few places where it shows up, especially on the, the uh, California coast where it's a, a state flower, you know, and it's against a lot of picket also, just to let you know. California poppy is the name. California golden poppy, California sunlight, golden cup, also amapola, uh, all kinds of different things. Golden cup, all kinds of things. Lots of antioxidants. has rutin in it and xanthine in it, also has berberine in it, and also sanguinine, uh, aranine in it. Also, uh, concentrations of particular alkaloids like popinapine and also alcritapine, which are sedative agents. So, and the list of antioxidants goes on forever. It's a very, a very huge amount. Also, it's anti-inflammatory helps with redness and pain and swelling because of all the antioxidants. I find it very soothing. I find it relaxing. A lot of people use it in combination with other herbs like lemon balm or maybe valerian and that type of thing. It seems to calm down the mind also. A lot of times we have our mind going, you know, running like 60 miles an hour and we don't know how to shut it off. Well, this, <clears throat> this seems to help a little bit. Also, uh, the Popinapine also is a great anti-inflammatory. Also helps with anxiety and depression, nerve pain, insomnia. Uh, a chiropractor said this herb has been shown to reduce night pain and induce sleep in patients with night pain without producing euphoria or addiction or dependency or any kind of side effects. So, wow, that's amazing stuff. How it works, it kind of works on the GABA receptors in the brain and it's anti-inflammatory for those areas, also blocks that particular hormones in the brain and uh, it helps like an antidepressant does in general. And it can be taken up to three months. I mean, about the max is three months and I would take, you know, about uh, a month off and then come back and repeat it if you need to. Maybe switch to something else like passion flower for a while. And sometimes people use it with magnesium and hawthorn together. Uh, also helps with long-term mental and physical tiredness. If you're tired all the time, yeah. this also will pick you up also during the day a little bit. Uh, it will make you sleepy at the same time. If you take a very small dose, it can kind of pick you up also. But you also sleep better so you feel more awake during the day. So that's better. Helps with mood. If you have mood, you know, been moody and that type of thing. And one double blind study uh, with a placebo content to it also found that it very, really helped with uh, moderate anxiety uh, over a three month period. So pretty amazing. Also helps with nerve pain. If you have nerve pain, if you have migraines, if you have uh, regular tension headaches, all that type of thing, it helps with that in a great way also. Stimulates the immune system. So boost up your immune system because you have all these wonderful antioxidants in here, which is great, great for stimulating the immune system. That's really, we need that now for sure. Also good for the digestive tract to make it work uh, correctly, to so make it work 
and a more substantial way to absorb food. Strengthens the blood vessels. Things like berberine are good for the blood vessels, absolutely, positively. It helps with pain in general. If you have nerve pain, if you have sciatic pain, shoulder pain, if you have back pain a lot, lots of different types of pain, whether you have, you know, a neck pain, whether you have, you know, pain because of some kind of, you know, arthritic condition. Yeah, we just had a, a good friend who had a knee arthritic condition, and this would help in a great way also. Helps to get rid of spasms because it's very relaxing and soothing, and it's very uh, anti-spasmodic agent also. Helps with incontinence in small children, which is wonderful. Also uh, can calm and soothe the mind, as I talked about. Help with the heart palpitations. If you're stressed out and your heart's going 100 miles an hour, you want to take some, you know, California poppy because that's going to calm that down. Also helps with, like I said, neuralgia, sciatica, back pain. It lowers fevers also, like aspirin. And also helps with persist persistent coughs. If you have a nagging cough, that kind of thing, you might want to try some wonderful California poppy. It's a little hard to find. I find it on Amazon and eBay. There's only like one or two sellers out there uh, because one of the things is protected in, in uh, California especially and if you pick it, $1,500 fine. So you got to grow it yourself. You can get the seeds. There's no doubt about that. Helps with uh, getting a restful night's sleep, refreshing sleep, and helps those who suffer from insomnia. So if you have you know, you just don't sleep in general. You might want to try some California poppy. A study demonstrated it had anti anxiolytic effects and promoted sleep in general. Another study in 2010 in uh, Botanical Medicine for Women's Health it said it normalized disturbed sleep patterns without any side effects or dependencies. So, really great. Another study in 2010, Botanical Medicine. California poppy is the most sedating of all herbs in this section. It traditionally has been used to treat pain, neuralgia, anxiety, stress, depression, migraines, and promote sleep. Wow. Also, it's great for anxiety and tension, as I said. Boost of cognitive, cognitive performance. So if you're not, your mind's a little sluggish, not working the way it should, you might want to try some California poppy. This happens to be by... Uh, bio nutrition and I got it on Amazon. It also helps with ADHD you know, for children and it can be given to children too so it's not a problem there. Also some people say it helps with bipolar you know problems so you might want to check with that out also. Some people actually used it with uh, for their bipolar challenges. Also helps with skin wounds because it has so many uh, powerful antioxidants in it and uh, Use the tincture for that and put it on your rash or your skin, broken skin or whatever it is. And it speeds up the healing also. It also has an oil that can be used for cooking. It can, the seeds can be ground to make a flower also. And the forms, you can get it in teas and oils and seeds and capsules, infusions and tinctures. You can make your own. <laughs> you could grow your own poppies. You can get the seeds and brought, they're absolutely beautiful. You ever seen a field of California poppies? I grew up in California, and the, the uh, western foothills are just full of them, and I really love them. They're just a wonderful photographic uh, scene of lots of poppies. Also, uh, dose in capsules from 500 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams. Try to keep it as low as possible uh, in the evening, you know, before you go to bed. A tincture from 15 to 40 drops taken uh, two to five times a day for either pain or wanting to sleep. It's not a narcotic, as I said. Uh, it's been used for bird seed and a flavoring agent and garnishes and baking and no side effects. Uh, should not be taken in large doses. Uh, you know, that's kind of common sense stuff, you know what I mean? And it does kind of interact with some medications because, you know, if you ever taken a sleep medication and you take this, that wouldn't be a good idea. Um, might interact with other things also. It does make you drowsy, so don't drive or, uh, you know, operate machinery because of that. Uh, not for many women who's pregnant or nursing or small children. And, and like I said, it's against a lot of pick It's a good big fine for that. It make, 
to make a soothing tea, it's pretty simple. You know, you take, uh, make a mixture of one part California poppy greens. You can actually use the greens too, or the seeds. And two parts lemon leaves. Uh, lemon leaves, actually the lim leaves off the lemon tree. And you can put that into a cup also. And two parts lemon balm herb. And then put, put uh, about a teaspoon of that, a heaping teaspoon of that into a cup and steep it for 15 minutes in hot water and then drink it before you go to bed. Again, that is one part California poppy seeds or you can use the greens also. Two parts lemon leaves off a lemon tree, of course, organic or you want to make sure it's not sprayed. Two parts lemon balm herb, organic also. And take a large teaspoon of that mixture and steep it for 15 minutes. Now you can find it on Amazon, you can find it on eBay, eBay and a lot of different places. You might want to check it out. You know, I think this is one of the things that might be great, particularly for older people who have restless nights and just don't sleep in general. So find a way to get a hold of something as much as possible. I also wanted to talk about my new book, Live a Cancer-Free Life. And it's on Amazon right now. And it's on pre-sale. Starts on the... You know, actually shipping June 2nd. So if you want to prevent yourself from coming down with cancer, three out of five people are coming down with cancer now. We can uh, uh, reduce your chances of coming down with cancer up to a thousand percent. So it's just some, it's a very short book and not going to, you know, cause you to go crazy reading it, you know, three, four hundred pages. It's a very practical, down to earth ways of actually preventing you know, getting cancer, there's absolutely no reason that you, we need to come down with cancer. I have a friend that has breast cancer right now. And uh, three out of five people that you know are going to come down with cancer. You don't want to be in that number. So let's, uh, if you buy my book, let's, uh, you can actually mail it to me and I'll autograph it for you if you want to. And uh, let's actually change your way of living life in general. And that because of that, do a consultation with me. It's fifty dollars, and it gets you on the road to becoming extremely healthy, like me. And you know, I'm going to be sixty-seven very shortly, and I feel like twenty. I really do. I don't have any aches. I don't have any pains. I have lots of get up and go. I walk eight miles a day. Work out the weights every day. Do pull-up crunches, and you know, work out with a punching bag and <laughs> rowing machine every day. And I have a lot of energy, and you can too. And you don't have to have any kind of chronic diseases whatsoever. So feel get a, free to get a hold of me. My uh, contact info is at the end of the uh, video. Also, you can hit click more, uh, click on show more down below, and all my contact info is there. So have a great day. But remember a couple things. Remember God, and remember, I love you.